How's it going guys? We're back with another video and this week we're talking about goal setting. How do we set realistic goals? How do we stay honest and realistic with our skills and abilities? Whether you're in preseason, whether you're stepping into a season, whatever sport you play, wherever, wherever you're at in your career right now, it doesn't matter. Goal setting is always important. In this video, we're breaking it down step by step, talking about how do we set these goals and then how do we actually get to where we want to be and be the athlete that we want to be and be mentally tough throughout that process. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna talk about three different goals, types of goals that I wanna break down for you that you need to dive into and really set for yourself. So the first one we got is the outcome goal. All right, this is what we think about when we think about hashtag goals, right? Who you wanna be, what kind of player you wanna be. I wanna be the MVP of my team. I wanna, I wanna win league, I wanna win conference. I want that title, that national title, right? That's the end goal, right? It's the outcome. What kind of outcome do I want at the end of the season? Where do I wanna be? Right? So those are obvious ones. I don't think we have, we don't really tend to have an issue with setting outcome goals, right? That's really where our mind goes, right? So we have the outcome goal, then we have the process goal, right? And this is where we really have to start thinking, okay, this is where we want to be, this is the outcome, what's, what's the process? What does the journey look like? These are the baby steps, the daily steps that we take to get to that end goal. So usually this is going to be um, practice and training goals, right? So I want to be in the weight room three or four times a week. Um, you know what I mean? The different types of goals that you might have specifically in practice or in training, things you want to improve on so that you can actually get to that end goal. Um, so it's very important these are specific, right? Not just I want to work hard during practice. What, what, do you, what does that mean? How, how do you want to work hard during practice? Um, what do you want to make sure you accomplish during practice? So making sure they're specific um, and that they're measurable, right? Putting numbers to them so you can actually track this progress throughout the season to see if you're actually going somewhere and actually making it towards that outcome goal. So we have the performance goal, right? So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's the goal you have when you perform, when you step onto the field, I'm stepping onto the court. How, what is, what is your goal for that game, right? Um, but I wanna even get it even more down to a subcategory of that. So we have mental goals, tactical goals, and technical goals. Right, so for a mental goal before a game, what, what that might be? Um, maybe it's making sure I'm staying composed. Well, how do you want to stay composed? Right, making sure I'm using positive self-talk, using my breath to, to regulate my emotions, to stay in control, um, making sure I'm staying focused on the bench, right? Using some type of technique to, to refocus myself. Um, having a short memory, right? If I throw up an air ball, if I miss a catch, if I strike out, um, if I throw a ball, um, whatever it might be, just having something that I can go to to make sure I put that behind me, I'm staying focused on the present one pitch at a time, one possession at a time, that's a mental goal. A tactical goal is gonna be your decision making and your strategy, your game plan, right? So if you're a point guard, make sure I'm running the plays right and I'm, I'm really you know directing and leading my, my teammates out there. Um, you know, things, things of that nature, making sure your game plan, your decision making is there. Maybe uh, turnovers, I don't want no more than two turnovers, turnovers this game. Just making sure I'm being very deliberate and intentional with my passes, um, whatever it might be, okay? And then we have the last one, which is technical. So you may or may not use this goal before a game, but maybe it's something that, that is related to your form, your technique, right? Making sure I'm following through on all my shots, right? Making sure I'm following through on all my shots, making sure my, my at the free throw line, Right, and making sure my, my knees are bent, right? Because again, you don't want to get too caught up in technical things when you're playing. At the end of the day, you want to get up there and just compete, right? Just compete, just be competitive, and just play. Um, but if there's certain things that keep coming up in your in your game's flaws and mistakes, then maybe you can have uh, you know you know one te technical goal, something like that, not to distract you, but to just remind yourself of, of something that you might need to do um, when it comes to your form, technique, things like that. And at the end of the day, we can talk about these things, we can, uh, you know, think about these things, but you've got to write these things down, right? Especially your outcome goals, and especially your process goals. I mean, really, really all of them. I encourage you to get a journal. Have a journal that you write in throughout the season. Write down, um, you know, your successes, your failures, your mistakes. Write down um, your emotions throughout the season. Write down your goals. Write down your process goals. How are you going to get there? And put these somewhere visible. 
press. Don't just write about them in a journal, but, but write them on a piece of paper. Get colorful with it. Put graphics on it. You know, put it in your locker. Put it in your dorm. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it in your car. Put it somewhere where you are constantly going to see it and notice it because the idea is this. You want to ingrain this in your heart and your soul and in your mind. Right, so so you are every day, daily, seeing in your mind, visualizing in your mind who you want to be, what you want to accomplish, and how. Right, and how how am I going to do that? How am I going to commit to this process so I can get to where I want to be? Second, all right. So how do we make sure these things are realistic? How do we make sure these goals that I'm setting um, that are realistic and within reach? First off, you don't want to set any goals that you can simply just walk over. Right? There's no point in doing that. Um, but this, on the flip side, you don't want to set goals that are totally unrealistic and ridiculous. Right? I like to, I like athletes to set goals that are outside of their reach, outside of their comfort zone. Right? It keeps them striving towards something. Um, but again, nothing super ridiculous. Right? If you're averaging 10 points a game, you probably don't want to set your goal this season to average 20, 25 points a game. That's a huge jump. It's probably not realistic. Something you can do, right? You're capable of doing over a period of time, but maybe not in the period of time of just a season. Okay, maybe a year or two. Um, so just being realistic with that. And you've got to surround yourself with people who are going to give you um, trusted feedback, right? So this is talking about your coaches, your trainers, your parents. If you're a coach, if you're a trainer, We've got to be honest, right? You want to be able to step into your coach's office, right, if you're an athlete, and say, hey, I'm not playing as, as many minutes as I want. Um, I'm, I'm constantly making this mistake in my decision making, and I, and I know I need to improve on this, but like, can you help me improve on this? Can you give me some things I can work on at home? Um, or I don't really know what I need to improve on. Like, what are you looking for me to do when I sit out on the court coach? How, how can I best contribute? Like, ask specific questions and do not leave the room until you get specific answers, right? Because how are you going to get better if you don't know what you need to do? How, how are you going to accomplish that outcome goal if you don't know what the process is going to look like for you? So get those specific answers and make sure the feedback is from a trusted trainer, a trusted coach that really cares about you and wants you to improve. Film. And you've got to study film. Um, this might be a ritual that you or kind of routine you do with your team. But I encourage you to do it on your own, right? And even when it comes down to watching games on TV, study study your favorite players, right? Study your opponents. Um, study practice film, right? What? Because again, practice is the process. Man, am I really committed to coming up, coming to practice, and giving it my all every single time? Um, study obviously game film, right? Look at what you're doing well. Look at what you're doing, you know, not so well on. What, what can I improve on? And again, figure out how that ties to the process. What does that look like daily for me? How can I, do I need to get stronger? Do I need to get quicker? Do I need to get smarter, right? Do I need to get more mentally tough? Do I need to figure out how I can compose myself and stay concentrated more, right? Right, looking at the technical, tactical, mental, it's all together. Um, but just figuring that out, you've got to be committed to watching film. Because that, that really, that, that's the reality. You can think about you know who you think you are and, and how great you are. People can tell you that, but at the end of the day, film does not lie, right? You just gotta face the facts. This is what I'm doing well at. This is what I'm not doing well at. How can I get better? Lastly, guys, great players don't play to prove their ability. They don't play to prove who they are. They already know they're great. They just play to compete. They just play to win, and that's all they're worried about when they step on the field, they step on the court. They're, they're just trying to go to battle. Right? So so I, I like to do this exercise with athletes. If you if you had a piece of paper and I asked you to write down all your abilities, list all of your strengths, everything you're capable of doing in a game, everything you're able to contribute to your team, list it all. Right? And you list out that list, and I would I would respond by saying this. The truth is, if you can't really use all those abilities 100% of the time when you step on the field to the court. You want to know why? There's a whole bunch of other factors that go on in your environment and just, frankly, you know, playing time. Um, uh, injuries, playing with pain, right? Um, refs, different things like that. The, the, the weather, things like that. There's a whole bunch of different types of factors that go into a game. And at the end of the day, you have to be 100% focused on what you do have. Right? And don't get caught up, well, I can do this, I can do that, I'm supposed to be doing this, I'm supposed to be doing that. At the end of the day, you step on to a court, you've got, you've got what you've got. You've got the abilities you've got, um, you've got the circumstances and the factors are, are all kind of playing together. And you kind of just say, okay, this is what I've got. I'm going to put 100% of my focus, 100% of my effort into what I do have. Right? Because like, like I like to say, great players, elite players, they can still beat you with their B game. And they can still beat you with their C game, right? It's not about you know whether or not I'm, I'm bringing everything to the table. It doesn't matter. 
I'm, I'm a dog. I, I go to battle and I give everything I've got and I, and I just compete. Right, so that's important to think about. And don't use every performance to validate your abilities. Right, going around the same concept. Um, you know, because if, if you have a bad game, if you you know don't score as many points as you're supposed to be, or what your goal was, your performance goal was that day, man, you start doubting your ability, start losing your confidence. Don't do that. Don't use every performance to validate your abilities. Just focus on what you're capable of doing. Realize that, that you got what you got when you step into that court, on that field. I'm gonna use 100% of my effort and attention and concentration to give what I do have. That might be my B game. That might be my C game. That might be my A game. It doesn't matter. I'm bringing it to the table. I'm going to battle. I'm, I'm gonna compete and I'm just here to win, right? To give my best, to be a team player, so on and so, and so forth. So, something to think about when it comes to your abilities, being honest with that. And then it, when we come to the mental game, realizing that I just gotta focus on what I do have, focus on what I, what I am bringing to the table, um, and, and what I'm able to do in the now, in the present, and give it 100% of my effort. There you have it, guys. Just kind of a quick, quick video on goal setting. There's so many things I could have talked about today, um, but I really like to keep this short and kind of simple. Something you can immediately apply to your game and start practicing to strengthen your mental game. So tune in next time. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you're growing. I hope you're loving this. Um, stay passionate. Stay strong-minded. Um, and we're just going to keep going with this.